Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Virtual Lab series of video blog presentations on various diverse scientific computing topics. As you can see here, the title of today's presentation is on how first principles simulations can contribute to the discovery of novel materials with interesting physical and chemical properties for applications in photovoltaic devices and solar cells. This presentation is provided by Virtual Lab, the company behind the development of the Materials Square online platform. Materials Square is entirely dedicated to assisting and encouraging researchers from across the world to perform atomistic computational simulations on a wide range of materials science and molecular chemical modeling applications, directly via our integrated powerful cloud computing resources. Being entirely online based, and executable via any basic web browser interface on any device with internet access, the Materials Square platform makes it possible to execute such complex simulations and calculations without the need to install any complicated scientific code locally on your machine, and without the need to have expensive supercomputing clusters at your immediate disposal. Our supported atomistic simulation functionalities and solutions are mainly based on well-established scientific computational techniques such as density functional theory and classical molecular dynamics, and have a very broad range of useful applications in computational chemistry and materials science R&D, which are thus ideally suited for both industrial and academic users from around the globe. We invite our viewers to please consult our products and services offered via the Materials Square platform by visiting its corresponding website, which is www.matsku.com, as noted also in the video description below. So, let us begin our main scientific presentation of today. Photovoltaic materials are substances that can generate electric current or voltage when exposed to light, particularly sunlight. This is a result of the photovoltaic effect, a physical and chemical phenomenon discovered in the 19th century. Photovoltaic materials are primarily used in the construction of solar cells, which are then assembled into solar panels for use in solar power systems. This enables the direct conversion of sunlight into electricity, a renewable and environmentally friendly source of energy. The working principle of photovoltaic materials is based on their semiconducting properties. They can absorb photons, light particles, and excite their electrons to a higher energy state, creating a voltage difference, electrical potential. This electrical potential can drive a current through an external circuit, which can then be used to power electrical devices. There are several types of photovoltaic materials. 1. Crystalline silicon, CSI This is the most commonly used photovoltaic material. It is available in two forms monocrystalline, single crystal, and polycrystalline, multiple small crystals. Crystalline silicon is known for its high efficiency and longevity, but it's relatively expensive to produce. 2. Thin film solar cells. These are made of materials such as amorphous silicon, ASI, copper indium gallium selenide, CIGS, or cadmium telluride, CDTE. Thin film technologies typically have lower efficiencies than crystalline silicon, but they can be cheaper and more flexible, which opens up new applications. 3. Perovskite solar cells. Perovskite materials have emerged as a promising photovoltaic technology due to their high efficiencies and potentially lower manufacturing costs. However, issues with longevity and stability still needed to be overcome. 4. Multijunction solar cells. These use multiple layers of different photovoltaic materials to capture a wider range of the solar spectrum and achieve very high efficiencies. They are mostly used in space applications due to their high cost. 5. Organic photovoltaic cells. These use organic compounds, mainly polymers, to generate electricity. They have the advantage of being flexible and potentially transparent, but they typically have lower efficiencies and shorter lifetimes compared to other materials. Photovoltaic materials are incredibly important because they allow us to harness solar energy, which is a renewable, abundant, and clean source of energy. By leveraging these materials, we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, which are finite and contribute to climate change. Consequently, the research and development of more efficient and cost-effective photovoltaic materials can significantly impact our ability to sustainably meet our energy needs. In the context of this presentation, 
we will focus on how first principles simulations and other computational techniques based on artificial intelligence and machine learning can be employed to accelerate and streamline the discovery process of novel photovoltaic materials with promising properties and superior performance levels. First principles simulations, also known as AB initio calculations, are a powerful tool used in physics and chemistry to predict the properties of materials based on fundamental physical laws, without relying on any empirical or semi-empirical parameters. These simulations leverage quantum mechanics, most notably the principles of quantum mechanics encapsulated in Schrodinger's equation, to describe the behavior of electrons in a system. When it comes to assessing the performance of novel photovoltaic materials, the following physical properties that can be computed with first principles methods are among the most relevant. 1. Band gap. The band gap is the energy difference between the valence band, highest energy band that generally contains electrons, and the conduction band, lowest energy band that is generally empty. It determines the threshold energy required for an electron to transition from the valence band to the conduction band, thereby generating an electric current. The band gap should ideally match the solar spectrum for optimal light absorption. 2. Absorption spectrum. The absorption spectrum is the range of light frequencies, or wavelengths, that a material can absorb. It should ideally cover the broad spectrum of sunlight, from infrared to visible to ultraviolet, for maximum energy conversion efficiency. 3. Charge carrier mobility. The mobility of charge carriers, electrons and holes, affects the efficiency of a photovoltaic material by dictating how quickly and easily these particles can move through the material, thus influencing the electric current. 4. Defect levels and density. Defects can significantly influence the performance of a photovoltaic material. Depending on the nature and location of the defect, it can act as a recombination center for electron hole pairs, reducing the efficiency of the device. Therefore, Calculating defect levels and densities can provide insights into the expected performance of the material. 5. Thermodynamic stability. The stability of a material under operating conditions is crucial for its durability and long-term performance. First principles calculations can be used to predict phase stability and degradation behaviors under different conditions. 6. Effective mass. The effective mass of the charge carriers affects how they respond to an electric field. A lower effective mass typically corresponds to higher mobility, leading to better photovoltaic performance. 7. Exciton binding energy. In some materials, particularly in organic and perovskite photovoltaics, the photogenerated electron and hole can form a bound state called an exciton. The energy required to separate this exciton into free charges that contribute to current is the exciton binding energy. A lower binding energy typically facilitates charge separation and improves device performance. Here is a general overview of how first principles simulations can accelerate the discovery of novel photovoltaic materials. 1. Virtual screening. First principles simulations can be used to screen large databases of materials to identify promising candidates for photovoltaics. By calculating the properties of thousands or even millions of materials, researchers can rapidly identify those materials that meet specific criteria related to band gap, absorption spectrum, and other relevant properties. 2. Understanding and optimization. Once promising materials have been identified, further first principles simulations can be used to understand the behavior of these materials in more detail. For instance, researchers can simulate the behavior of a material under different conditions, such as different temperatures or levels of sunlight. This can also include the investigation of defects or impurities in the material, which can greatly impact the photovoltaic performance. 3. Device simulation. In addition to simulating individual materials, first principles simulations can also be used to model entire solar cell devices. This can include the simulation of interfaces between different materials, which is crucial for understanding how electrons move through the device and how this movement can be optimized. 4. Guided experimentation. By combining first principles simulations with experimental work, researchers can greatly speed up the discovery process. Simulations can guide the experiments, helping to focus on the most promising materials and experimental conditions. 
Conversely, experimental results can be used to validate and refine the simulations. 5. Machine Learning Integration First Principles data can serve as a robust database for machine learning algorithms, fostering the development of predictive models. This approach can expedite the screening and optimization of new materials by learning patterns from previously computed first principles data. First principles simulations can therefore in general provide valuable insights into physical properties of materials that are relevant for photovoltaic applications, aiding in the design and discovery of new such materials with increasing performance metrics. However, it's also important to remember that these simulations are usually computationally intensive, requiring significant computing resources, especially for larger, more complex systems. Therefore, they are often used in combination with other techniques, such as machine learning algorithms, to streamline the process and make it more efficient. First principles simulations thus offer an incredibly powerful tool to streamline and accelerate the discovery of novel photovoltaic materials, allowing for cost and time efficient theoretical exploration before moving to resource intensive experimental fabrication and testing. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. Many thanks for your attention, and we recommend once more to please give a try to our Materials Square online platform for executing atomistic materials and chemical computations directly on the cloud by visiting its website at www.materialsquare.com. Please do not hesitate to contact us by email, as shown here on this slide, in case you would like to obtain further information on the various R&D services and solutions that we provide at Virtual Lab. Many thanks again for your interest and your consideration.